Hey y'all, Blindmatcher here, and we are back with more The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. On the last episode, we took on... What is this? We took on the Shadow Temple. And in this episode, we're going to make our way to the final... The final temple of the game. Yeah! You killed me! Huh? Oh, it's you. Did you try to play the sun song? Like I told you before, with that song you can turn day to night, or night to day, whenever you want. When you're in darkness, that song should bring the sun's light to you. You should try it. I don't know if I ever talked to that guy. <sighs> Come on now. I don't know why the Deku nuts are not making them reappear. They're supposed to. The younger brother. Okay, anyway. Enough horsing around. Time to go find my horse. So one of the things I haven't really touched on a whole lot are the hidden grottos in the game. There are a lot of hidden grottos. In fact, there's one right here on Kakariko. I don't know if you can access it as an adult, but it should be about here. Oh yeah, you can. Oh, it might just be bombs. Dropping down here will get us to uh, this grotto with some redads in here. You can do it as a kid, but they will stun you. Or you can use the Sun Song. And I'm not going to open it because it would be a waste, but this chest contains a gold rupee worth 200 rupees. There's a couple grottos like that. I believe the one inside the circle of rocks by uh, Goron City also contains a gold rupee. You know, I don't... Yeah, I, I, never mind. I'm just going to leave the hover boots on for now. I might need them <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. You know what? No, never mind. We're taking those boots off. Alright. Get on my hoss. Back to Gerudo Valley. I don't know if I really talked about it, but uh, when you use a carrot to make your horse sprint, uh, the sprint actually lasts a little bit longer than it takes for one carrot to regenerate, so you can kind of maintain it infinitely with good timing. back is starting to hurt, so I'm going to have to take a break after we get to the next dungeon. Never get old, folks. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. <laughs> Ugh, back pain sucks. Been having to go to a chiropractor to fix out my misalignment, and now I'm discovering that just years of bad posture to try and comfort myself have uh, atrophied my muscles there. <laughs> hey, newcomer! Oh, do I have to climb up the ladder to get the gate opened? I might.
Hey, rookie. Are you going into the desert? I'll open this gate for you, but you can't cross the desert unless you pass the two trials. First trial is a river of sand. You can't walk across the river. After you cross it, follow the flags we place there. The second trial is the Phantom Guide. Without those eyes that can see the truth, will only find themselves returning here. You're going anyway, aren't you? I won't stop you. Go ahead. All right. With this we can now head into the desert. I think it's called the Haunted Wastes. Haunted Wasteland. If you chase the Mirage, the desert will swallow you. Only the path is true. Or only one path is true. Alright. So, the first trial, like they said, is to cross the river. You will sink if you try to go in the sand, and you do need the long shot to get across here. Uh, we can actually go left here, I believe. Nope. <laughs> that was the wrong way. <clears throat> there is a diverging path that's not really marked. That I do want to show off, because I guess probably not a lot of people know about it. But the trick here is you want to follow the uh, flags. All those reckless enough to venture into the desert, please drop by our shop. Carpet merchant. Yeah, this is it. I don't know why it... Ah, it's right here. Okay. Yeah. Um, do I just have to jump for it? <laughs> Maybe I have to use the hover boots to reach him. I don't think this guy has anything I particularly care about, but, um, I did want to show him off. Yeah, there we go. Welcome! I am selling stuff strange and rare from all over the world to everybody. Today's special is... A dangerous running object. Terrifying. I won't tell you what it is until I see the money. How about 200 rupees? Sure. It's a bomb chew. Horrible deal. Thank you very much. What I'm selling is bomb chew. The mark that will lead you to the spirit temple is the flag on the left, outside the shop. Be seeing you. Welcome. Selling stuff strange and rare from all over the world to everybody. Today's special is... Yeah. Yeah, we're not spending 200 rupee on that again. That was a very bad deal. <laughs> very bad deal. Cannot recommend buying from this ripoff. <laughs> but I did it so you don't have to. Anyway, we just want to follow these flags. There should only ever be one visible besides the one that we just came from when we reach a new one. And that's uh, pretty much how you get through this first area. Yeah. There we go. And I believe this marks the end of that. I'm gonna jump down here real quick. Because there is a golden sculpture here. I don't think that actually, uh... Yeah. I don't think that counts as getting all of them in the Haunted Wasteland yet. Alright, over here... Let's use our fire arrows, since we haven't used those yet. Makes a small chest appear. Not where I thought it would, though. <laughs> With a purple rupee. Alright, now let's just put them back on regular arrows. 
Alright, that is the only sculpture that we need to worry about in this uh, area of the haunted wasteland. Thankfully. And now that that is taken care of... I'll be your guide on your way, but coming back I won't play. I'll only show you the way to go, so follow me and don't be slow. Now, you don't need this guy if you know how to get through the desert. But man, that is an expert level trick, let me tell you what. It's much easier to just have the Lens of Truth and follow this guy. Watch out for our levers. I hate levers. Almost as much as I hate sand, you know. It's coarse and grainy, and it gets everywhere. It's definitely a lot faster to just go if you know the way, because this guy is going in circles a little bit here. But I believe this is the end. And this should be the Desert Colossus. Desert Colossus. Oh yeah. And it's nighttime, which is good, because there's a couple sculptures around here. Yeah, this is not its own thing on the map, it's still part of the Haunted Wastelands. The levers are going to constantly harass us while we're here. So let's, uh, let's be quick. Let's, let's blow up this side of the wall here. You can kill the levers, but I think they do respawn. Got a great fairy fountain here. Welcome, Joshua. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. <laughs> you got Nehru's love. Cast this to create a powerful protective barrier. It's defensive magic you can use with the buttons. Nehru's love is in effect for only a limited time, so use it carefully. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. So, I believe the way Nehru's love works is it uses up some magic and gives you a limited time barrier. Yeah. This barrier will protect you from all damage, but not knockback. Um, I guess you could make use of it, but I find it's not really all that helpful. Anyway, continuing on around here. I believe there is a Sculptula around here. Barrier actually lasts a very long time. I'm kind of surprised how long it's lasted. Okay, now it's wearing off.
I need it to be night time. There is our last heart piece up there on that archway, if you could see it. Briefly, when I scrolled the camera across. Alright, there's one of our sculptulas. However, uh, yeah, we still have not gotten all of them here in the Haunted Wasteland. I think there's one more somewhere. Just gotta find it. Yeah, that just seemed like that would happen. Hey, we got some fairies. Not a bad deal. I may not be able to f get to it just yet. Pretty sure it's around this arch, but uh, uh whatever. Let's go in here. So this is the spirit temple. Normally I would go ahead and end the episode off here, but uh, are you gonna, okay, if you want to travel in the future, you should return here with the power of silver from the past. Does this one say the same thing? If you want to proceed in the past, you should return here with the pure heart of a child. So, in a very not, uh, cryptic hint, they're telling us that we need something to be able to push this block as an adult, and in something a little more obvious, we need to be a kid to be able to crawl through here. I thought that was a real armor statue. So, nothing we can do there for the moment. Past, present, future. The Master Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through Time's River. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through time's flow. Listen to this Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. You have learned the Requiem of Spirit. Interestingly, that cutscene is the only time we get to see Kepora Gebora as an adult. Poor Gabor never interacts with us as an adult. And uh, it's kind of weird. So I don't know if I said this earlier, but um, 
Yeah, the game, I don't think, explicitly tells you this unless you talk to uh, Gossip Stones with the Mask of Truth. But Kepora Gebora is actually a uh, physical manifestation of Rauru, the Sage of Light. Anyway, we need to head to the desert as a child. Actually, I need to make a pit stop somewhere else first. Yep, we can come up here as a child, but if you may recall, can't do anything in the Shadow Temple because there is a giant gap, like two feet from the entrance. <laughs> anyway, the reason I wanted to come here is because I need some bugs. And I know now that you can get bugs from that rock. Okay, now... Still gotta worry about these levers, who are gigantic jerks. And we needed bugs because right here is the last soil. Which means there's a golden sculpture in it. And we can go ahead and plant our last bean. And since we no longer need beans, I might as well uh, change that. Looks like a good setup for my items. And without further ado, let us enter the spirit temple as a child. However, this is where we're going to end things off. This has been The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. I'm Blamadger. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and ring the bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload again. And I will see you guys next time for the final temple of the game.